If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here, back again, bringing you guys another Madden Ultimate Team video. And guys, today what we're going to be talking about is a little bit about the current Madden Championship tournament that's going on. But what, we, what I really want to focus on is actually the Madden NFL 17 Championship Series that was recently announced. Now, uh, what you're going to be watching in the background is not tournament gameplay. I am not a quality player enough to get to the tournaments by any means. So what you're watching is just gameplay from my most recent Ultimate Team game that I played. And it was a, happened to be against a subscriber and a follower on Twitter. So if he's watching this game, shout out. It was a fun game. Uh, both of us score some points and uh, both of us have some struggles on offense and defense. But anyway, the game, the really, like I said, the thing that I really want to talk about is not this gameplay. I, I want to talk about the Madden 17 Championship Series that was recently announced. Now, um... Guys, if you're unaware, Madden has been trying, kind of, it seems like, to break into the esports scene in Madden 16. We used to have a lot of underground tournaments in, in previous years of Madden. This year, I don't think there's been quite as many. And I think part of that is because they're actually doing some of these live tournaments in, you know, in person at the Madden headquarters or, or right now, I think it's at E3. Uh, but basically, guys, the, the Madden Championship Series is going to be a series of tournaments for competitive players. And what's really cool here is that there's a million dollars on the line in this series. So we're not exactly certain how those million dollars are going to be broken down, but we do know that there are going to be a guaranteed four tournaments. There's going to be one in the fall, the winter, the spring, and the summer. So in the fall, we're going to see the Madden Classic. In the winter, we're going to see the Madden Bowl. In the spring, we're going to see the Madden Challenge. And then in the summer, we're going to see the Madden Championship. So if you're not paying much attention right now, what we're seeing is the Madden Championship in Madden 16. We also saw the Madden Challenge earlier this year. So again, guys, we're kind of seeing some of that stuff grow over this past season, which is really, really cool. And I'm definitely excited about it because I, I made a video about this or maybe even a couple videos about this. I think that EA needed to break into the into the competitive world and get it and get to the point where it became uh, where Madden became an eSport. And I kind of think we're starting to get there now. My personal opinion is that the gameplay still has a lot to be desired. I mean, we're seeing right now that pretty much everybody in the game uh, for the tournament players at, in Madden 16 anyway, in this current tournament, almost everybody is running uh, some sort of, you know, what I would consider to be cheese. And, and I, gosh, I hate to say that because it's not like my gameplay isn't cheese. I don't know. But, but I guess what I'm saying is there's a lot of broken stuff in the game right now. There's a lot of fullback dive by problem out of that Seattle playbook where he's handing the ball off basically instantly to Rob Gronkowski and picking up first downs. Uh, that kind of stuff, I think, has to be changed, obviously, for Madden 17, and it sounds like it's going to be. But once they start to make those gameplay improvements, we're going to start to see, I think, a much better competitive world in Madden, and I think it's going to be a lot more fun. I think that we might even get to the point where some of these guys are able to play this game competitively for a real living, not just like table scraps and live with their parents kind of a thing, but like really playing this turn this tournament gameplay style on a regular basis, playing it every single day, and really honing their craft like other esports do. That's what I want to see out of Madden. And uh, like I said, that's something that we're not currently seeing, maybe save for a couple of guys in the tournament community. Uh, and obviously your problem, right? He, he does a lot of streaming and that brings in a lot of revenue for him. But uh, for the most part, though, you're seeing most of these guys, they don't really have the capability to play this game for a living. But when we're talking about a million dollars in cash prizes, uh, we could be talking about $50,000 in the first tournament, $100,000 in the second tournament, $300,000 in the third tournament, and then, you know, $550,000 or $500,000 or something like that for the Madden Championship. You know, it could go incrementally up, or we might just see a quarter of a million at each of them. I'm not sure, again, how that's going to be broken down. They haven't really said, uh, but... 
basically what they did say is that competitors will earn series points based on their placement at EA sanctioned events. So it has to be uh, at an EA sanctioned event. Now I'm assuming these are going to be in-game tournaments or uh, in-person tournaments, excuse me. And we don't know whether it's going to be played on, uh, you know, draft champions or a salary cap mode or mutt or just regular teams. So I want to hear from you guys. What do you think they should do? Should they do one of each of those for, for the, you know, each of the tournaments? Should the fall classic, for example, be with regular teams and then the Madden Bowl maybe with uh, draft champions, the Madden Challenge maybe with Mutt and then the Madden Championship with salary cap? Something like that maybe to kind of break it up a little bit. I don't know. Or, or should all of it be done in one game mode? What do you guys think? And then also, guys, I, I think one of the things that's really cool here, like I said, is that they announced that there will be independent tournaments. So we already see those in the community. There's a, a couple of them, I think, in Vegas this year. I think there's some in Texas, um, some in Atlanta. Florida, maybe. I, I'm trying to remember exactly where all these are, but this is something that I've talked about for quite some time. I think that the community itself needs to come together, and we need to start having more live tournaments. We need to start putting the pressure on to, to make Madden an eSport, a real eSport, and I think, like I said, uh, getting EA involved and getting their bankroll behind it, this is going to be a, such a huge improvement because people are playing for serious money now at this point. I mean, we're talking about a year salary or more uh, to win a tournament now versus, you know, a couple thousand dollars. I mean, we're, we're potentially talking about a hundred thousand or more dollars at one of these tournaments or maybe even all of these tournaments to the winner. So that's going to be pretty amazing. But uh, with that being said, guys, we get the interception here at the end of this game. That's pretty much going to wrap this one up. Uh, one last thing that I want to point out here. I think it would be really cool if they brought back team play and made team play potentially a competitive game mode. I think that would be a lot of fun. Can you imagine uh, like the the serious Mo um, Young Kiv and Problem Right versus the Madden Daily guys or something like that? Wouldn't that be pretty fun to watch? I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments section below what you guys want to see from the EA Madden NFL 17 Championship Series. I want to hear what from you guys. I want to hear what you guys think about the tournament that's currently going on and the ones that are going to be in Madden 17. What do you want to see uh, and how should they break down the tournaments in gameplay style, prize pool, things like that. Thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video if you did do me a favor go ahead and click that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and i will talk to you guys again soon